You and me, we shiny dust And we won't ever get enough They don't know They don't know In your eyes I put my trust Baby, you're my all-time favorite drug Let them keep talking about us Cause they don't know We'll never know I'm vlogging from Croatia um, I wasn't going to vlog but it is I knew I've been told that Croatia is pretty and I wasn't really expecting it to be this pretty I haven't really been anywhere like this before it kind of reminds me of the south of France but definitely has a unique like it has those province trees but the sea is like let me show you it's like the most gorgeous greeny color it is seriously seriously hot I didn't even realize that I'm just about to get dressed, so that's a good job. I'll leave all the details to where we're staying. Oh, I need to go back in, actually. It's really hot. And I might vlog in the mirror. So I'm going to talk to you in here, because then I can see. You'll see it doesn't have a flip. So I'm here. Oh, I've done half my lipstick as well. I've literally just put my makeup on in a matter of, matter of five minutes. And I think you can tell from my eyebrows. So if my eyebrows are just bad, then you know why. So I didn't sleep all last night. I had a car pick up at 3 a.m. And I can't go to sleep because I go to sleep at 11 or 12. So I um, was at the airport by 4. Had a bit of a delay, so we're really tired. And I wasn't going to vlog this trip. But as I said, it's very, maybe I should have vlogged today because I'm so tired. I'll leave all the links below and all the, all the information of where we're staying. But this is my room. Really nice, spacious room. The most beautiful view. That's probably one of the best views I've had, actually, especially in Europe. I've been really organised. I'm quite organised when I'm really, really tired. It just helps me not stress. So you'll see that I've got anything from shirt to boatwear to knitwear, leather jacket. I've literally got something for everything. My bathroom. Be quickly getting ready. I don't know why this light is so orange. Um, hmm. So yeah, Danielle's going to be um, knocking at my door in a minute. I can already tell that I'm flagging because I'm so tired. And I'm here with the Croatian Tourist Board and Daniel Pisa, who you all know. I'm sure you've seen her in lots of my videos. So let me quickly finish getting ready. And I think I'll have a coffee, pull myself together and get dressed. But that is where we are. And I just wanted to introduce you, introduce you to where we were. So this is what I'm wearing. I love this dress, but I'm annoyed with myself that I got a size too big because it makes me look bigger than what I am. After going outside, this is definitely the right kind of shoe to wear, but I really wanted to boy it up with my Nicholas Kirkwood boots, so I'm going to see what Danielle's wearing. And I did want to bring my Balenciaga denim jacket, but it's just so hot, so maybe I'll leave it for in the car. Um, definitely need to start talking when I've had a coffee. Um, yeah, I just forget it. I'm not going to vlog because I can barely... Barely focus. I haven't had any sleep, but I was just excited to show you. And um, yeah, so this is my outfit, and I can't wait to explore Croatia. So we're in Dubrovnik. I hope I've said that right. And this is the old town. We're going to have a tour. It's so impressive. Weather is perfect. Sunny but breezy. Everyone's kayaking. So apparently, this is where the Game of Thrones is set. So any Game of Thrones fans. Hopefully you recognise this. And I think it's coming off just as beautiful on the camera. But this is beyond what I imagined. Yeah. Also today, if you take off your shirt, not, not the whip in the shirt. Yeah, we've seen poodles and cats. Isn't it breathtaking? And we've come for a, a coffee stop because apparently the coffee culture is really like yeah, everybody loves the coffee break so I'm really excited to taste Croatian coffee I don't know anything about it and we're going to people watch so this is the old pool this is the old port because at one point it became too small for the steamships so it became just this little marina for the local boats so I'm going to do a little test that when I point the camera at Danielle 
She can't help but dance. Let's see if she does it. I know I always do. <laughs> I told you, she can't resist. <laughs> I'm not talking because I'm out of breath. And I know I keep saying the same thing, but isn't it beautiful? Mm. I'm not looking over there, it's very high. So, you see the cable car up there? Oh, I need to get to the gym. That's where we're going later, and we're going to go at sunset. Can't wait. Well, I can wait because that doesn't look. They look scary. But I'll let you know. So we made it to the top. Focus. It's very vibrant in Rona. And then there's this restaurant on the rock. <laughs> So we've done our walk and now we're going to reward ourselves with the most romantic dinner. The girls here, hopefully they're in the shop. <laughs> and then this is our, our view. Whatever is best, whether it's better to order a bottle of rose. Isn't that beautiful? The three of us are going to have it. There are cats everywhere. Oh, it's a bit close now. It's going to jump up. No, don't. I think it is. It's looking right at me. Yeah, do that because that's not going to twist it up, is it? Seeing the pounce position now, so I'm actually just going to come away. Oh, that one's picking on it. Oh. We've been up for 26 hours. Haven't we? Yeah, I'm tired. I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm tired now. I'm going to go to bed. Okay, see you in the morning. This is me. Good night. Bye. Bye. I'll come for you. In the morning. I'll come for you at nine o'clock. How have you got that much energy? I don't know how I've lasted that long, but I tell you that I am more awake than what I was earlier. I'm not sure why this is orange. Paris is going to have a go at me when he edits this. Um, that restaurant was so lovely. We saw a proposal. I don't. I didn't film it on here because I filmed it on my phone and I put it on Instagram stories. Uh, but it, there was a proposal. It was so sweet, so lovely. And there was kittens running. Oh, sorry. There was kittens running around. Amazing view. Amazing sunset. So I really need to get some sleep now. And tomorrow we are going sailing. Hopefully the weather is good because apparently there's a bit of rain tomorrow. So I'm going to get some sleep and hopefully we can go sailing tomorrow. Good morning everyone. Sorry I'm not facing it the other way. This is a lot prettier than looking at me. Castell the sea is. So today we are going on that red boat. Um, I have got my St Laurent shoes, my Prada bag, Levi shorts and then like an oversized shirt which I think is really nice wear over a bikini when you don't feel slim um, so yeah this is what we're doing we've got perfect weather and I'm gonna film all day so you can see what we get up to so it was all going really well I'm loving it like you'll say out the front <laughs> and then it's fine raining we got Chris though so it's okay hopefully it stops raining and we can show you um, bye, bye, bye. A lie. <laughs> Can you get your camera out of the way? <laughs> so we've just finished our lunch. The sun is back out. We had a lovely lunch just over there. Um, we're just taking a few pictures. Danielle's getting changed. This is like per perfect weather. It's sunny, breezy. It's been a really relaxing day. Everyone's really friendly. I've got the most amazing, amazing chills. Not just like shells you buy when you're on holiday, they are amazing. I'm going to show you them when I get back to the hotel. So that's the update. We're going to do some more sailing, some 
pictures, go for coffee. Um, I think we might go out tonight, so I'm looking forward to that. We gonna do it like they do in the movies. We gonna ride until the sunset, just you and me. We gonna stay along to our sunset. So this is the end of the sunset. We just had the most epic shoot for bikinis, but this is real life. <laughs> Please life. And the boat. This is the aftermath. Crisps everywhere. Table table's gone down in the bathroom. And then we're just pulling into the hotel. What an amazing day we've had. Um, I wanted to show you my outfit, but I don't know why it's so so orange. Um, we had about two hours to get ready, which is really good for a press trip. Normally it's a lot more rushed than this. Um, and I've literally been on the bed editing my pictures, putting up some stories. And then I thought I can't be bothered to put any makeup on. So um, some holiday tricks that maybe it will help you, I don't know. First things first is a big pair of earrings is always a really good way to kind of take away from your face if you don't want to put on makeup. These ones are Suru. I'll leave the link below. I love all of the earrings that she does, especially in the day you can put glasses in this and it's a really good tip. For my skin I've just put on this, which is the Chanel, sorry that's not focusing, I love this, I think this is like my third part, I, it's like my favourite bronzy glow, I'm still wearing that Sicily number 11. And the only other thing that I've done is, this is the new Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette. And I've got this colour on. So orange, sorry. Um, and just a really bright, just kind of like a bright poppy colour. And I literally just put that on and blend it in with a brush. So I haven't really got any makeup on, lots of dry shampoo. I'm wearing all black. This is my Coupal's leather jacket that I haven't worn for ages. I just didn't want to pack, like, I don't know, my Saint Laurent one and get it squashed in the suitcase. But I really love this jacket. quite like the red inside as well. Another beauty product, I, I can't remember if I've told you about this or I said it on stories, but it's the Elizabeth Arden um, Daily Youth Restoring Serum Capsules. This is the gold one. They sent me these ages ago and I haven't used them until this trip because I thought it was really easy and oh my goodness, amazing. And I've been wearing that with it as well, which is the cream. So amazing, creme de la mer, fake tan, for my eczema, the child's farm, Givenchy primer and foundation, but I haven't got those on tonight. So that's just a quick look at my beauty products. Room's a bit of a mess, sorry. Um, that's the full look. I think I'm going to wear my biker boots. I have no idea why it's orange. Um, it was a bit chilly last night so I think we definitely need a jacket all black kind of cash holiday vibes not sure if I'm gonna wear my baker baker biker boots on my my flats I'll see what the other girls are wearing so we're gonna go for dinner and then I know that we're gonna go for drinks and we're gonna check out the like castle club in the old town which apparently doesn't get busy till one we all really want to go and see what it's like the full look together. I'm going to go for the boots, I think, because I think it'll be chilly. And this, I forgot to tell you, is my Bauman Bell. It's the exclusive to net porte And I actually meant to bring a black bigger bag. I've only got my wallet on a chain, which is a bit stupid because it doesn't fit my camera in. So I'm going to wear this one and the belt and the chain kind of look the same. So mm, it's not the best match. I'd prefer a black bag. But you're basically just going to see it like this. And I didn't forget about the shells. I'm going to show you those in the morning when the light's better. 
So this is the boat we're getting on. We're going to see an oyster farm and how they source all the oysters. The thing is that there's no electricity, of course, here, but there's water toilets, so if you need one. Morning, so it's Saturday, our last day. I know I always have to say it, but I can't see myself, so I'm hoping for the best that I'm in, in the shop. So we are in Storn, which is, I think they said it's like an extension of Dubrovnik, and um, I'm just trying to explain like what I can see, which I'm going to show you now, actually. I haven't really been anywhere like this before. Look how clear the water is. So yeah, it's just breathtaking. And everyone's really friendly. And we're just gonna do some oyster tasting. Obviously, I'm not gonna do it. And yeah, so that's where we're at today. We're gonna to be doing this all day. And then hopefully at the end of the day, we're gonna go back to the old town because we really loved it and we wanna explore a bit more there. Um, it's actually really warm. I don't actually need my lens jacket on, so I'll probably take them off later. The weather's amazing, considering that it's October two hours away from London. I didn't realise it was so hot in, in October, so it's been amazing. And one more thing that I want to tell you about is they said that last month they had a dolphin like come into these waters and it was playing with the kids and it was here for a month. And I just thought that was really magical and a really nice story. So I better go back to where everyone else is. We're just here on this private island. We've got a Love Shack fancy dress on. My Nicholas Kirkwood bikers. oysters. Guys, great Cheers. to have you here. Thanks for Cheers. 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 Do you sip it? You don't like chocolate. Shop. No, it's it's not it's not that strong. You can just yeah, you should, you should that is strong. <laughs> That's the strongest no, 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 I've ever had in my life. No. Okay, so now when I'm not trusting you. I, no, that's I'm, really strong. So you you want to tell me that you never, had a, you never had vodka or anything that's like that? That's stronger. No, 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 this is not stronger. No. It, ju it just, no, it, it just maybe the specific sweet taste. Yes. <laughs> I can okay. taste the cherry okay. though. There's cherry in it, isn't there? No, no, no. It's it's only myrtle. It's actually a little. Oh, it tastes uh, like cherry to me. It's like Thank little you. blackberries. It's no. all heating up, like down. <laughs> Okay, so obviously I'm not going to eat these, but they do look more meaty than slimy. Okay, go on then. I will, I think I will try one. Go on then. Okay, there's a good place to start with In the best possible way. How do I like even... <laughs> it's kind of detached, like in London you get all the little forks. Mm. Yeah, that's the thing you get. He's actually... Um, he's attached the, it. Yeah. yeah. Don't because try and the muscle that, that they're holding to the shop. Delay it Can with I the lemon. Can I just say, if, if, it all goes if wrong. I react badly after this and I'm ill, I hope no one gets offended. It's just because You will I'm... not get ill. This is the healthiest food on the planet. Yeah, I know, but you know, sometimes your body isn't like used to it. Well, no, no, I'm okay. That's one thing. But you, <coughs> you did it before. Yeah. So obviously you can process it. Okay. I would say without lemon, it's probably easier. How much? You look absolutely terrified. I am terrified. Mm, this be. way? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just, yeah, you can just... Just slurp it. <laughs> I'm really scared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you doing with the bread? <laughs> I'm really scared. It, it just looks... Should be good. I can't do all of these, by the way. Well, I'm going to do you, one. You'll, you'll, you don't tell, even have to do You'll tell one. when you try the first one. Okay. Well, I'm nervous. <laughs> no, it's not for me. It's not for me. Okay. Mm. It's a texture. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yes. I hate you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Water. It mm. It's not even it's like not the taste. Because you don't really taste it. <laughs> it's the texture. It's the texture of it. Thank well done for trying. So this is creation wine. They call black wine um, red wine. No, they call red wine black wine. 
and they put these in the sea and it looks like that so you can buy this which is about 200 and something euros and I would love to get this for Paris's dad but this is just too heavy for me to take home so I am buying this one and for him I think it's such a lovely gift and he always asks for wine, red wine for his birthday and it's his birthday soon and I know that he'll love this because I know that he's never seen it before it's just really unusual and they've um, patterned this, the clay and the glass so if you love wine, you'd really love it here. It's too early for us to do like red wine in Houston. Well, they do it, but it's too early for us. Cool. So I'm just choosing my wine. It's all the same. I quite like that one. I just want a really manky looking one. Like that one is not manky enough for me. I think this one is good. I'll just see. That's cool. That's weird. Cool. Yeah. You like all the weird, really weird ones. <laughs> this one is a big shell on our head. I'll have this one, I think. Wow. This one. Yeah. Sure. As you can probably tell, this is not exactly machine drilled a tunnel. Baby. Oh, hello. It's cuddling you. Mara Nevina. Uh, it's made in a concrete shaped X and after that aged in a French oak for approximately half a year. This is quite a well known uh, wine brand. We've actually been drinking it the whole time we've been here. The rose is amazing. So, this is a very beautiful setting. We're going to taste the wine and we're also going to have lunch here because they have a restaurant. And they're just about to show us the wine cellar. So we just got back to the hotel. We... What did we do? Oh, it's the winery. We've done all that. And now we are... What are we doing? We're going to go back into Old Town. Old Town. Yeah, and take some more pictures and have some coffee. So I forgot to tell you that I changed my outfit just because I've been in that blue dress all day and this one's like really floaty and airy and there was a place that I wanted to get a picture up. I put a picture here, the one that I took and there was so many people there I couldn't get it yesterday so we come for a coffee and then we quickly nipped up here so I can get the picture and I wanted to come into this, you know how it is. So we quickly did that, now we're going to go for a coffee. orange light again I don't know why so we just got back to the hotel what are the plans I've actually ordered a Greek salad because I'm really hungry but we're going out for dinner in two hours we're going to be pack and I forgot to show you my shells I'm going to show you those now I got this one and I'm really sorry that it's not natural light and it's gone orange so hopefully you can see them nicely I'm about to pack my suitcase then this one which is also really nice. My bracelet, by the way, is the one that I had in my haul the other day, but I'll link it below in case you didn't see that. So this was the first shell that caught my eye. It's pink. They're real. Look at that. And I thought this would have been so nice for like an engagement ring. Like say you was like in the sea and you pretended to find this and there was an engagement ring but I thought that was just so nice to have like jewellery in or something but these, that one doesn't open but I just thought they were really really nice here's my wine, that one's for Paris's dad that one I got for Paris, I've just spoken to him on the phone my room's quite tired actually I've just spoken to him on the phone to see what he's been doing we FaceTimed, obviously we do that every day um, so I'm going to enjoy my salad, pack, and then we'll go out for dinner. Tomorrow we're leaving, we're leaving at 8am, so tonight's our last night. Can you believe this? I've just worked out how to make it not orange. I might show you the shells again. Oh, I'm so sorry. There's been another vlog where I've made it orange. Well, at least I know. I can't believe it. I literally just press one button and it's gone to normal colour. I'm such an idiot. So this is the outfit of the day. At least it looks better than... All the orange footage, sorry about that. So I'm basically wearing what I wore last night. This is coming up a bit of a weird colour, but in real life it's like more nude. Um, kept my bracelet on from today, love this bracelet. It's actually really comfortable. I've got my Gucci um, loafers on. 
next one be like comfy and I'm definitely going to show you these shells again because I don't think they you saw how nice they were see so much nicer oh I'm so sorry about that stupid orange footage it won't happen again so that's the other one so pretty and then here's my fave that one so you can see them so much better now can't you so nice um, I'm wearing this bag I haven't really got much makeup on, just like an eyeshadow. I ordered my Greek salad and it was really nice. Just ate all the peppers basically. So yeah, that's my look of the day. I am um, basically packed. Um, oh, look how much better it is. Although that light looks awful. And actually I'm hating this shirt, so I'm not gonna look at myself anymore. You know, when you look at yourself to the point where you just don't wanna wear that outfit anymore. So top tip, don't look in the mirror much. So I'm going to go meet the girls in reception and head for dinner. So this is where we're going for dinner. For our last night. Oh, it looks lovely. Drinks. So for you two ladies who prepare a grilled lobster that lady choose with a bit of melted butter and shall we put some saffron sauce rice, tartar sauce by side. For you, madame, ravioli stuff with vegetables and Italian food. Lovely. Ladies, have a nice meal, please. Thank you. Josh, Rina's house. Mine looks boring compared to theirs. Good morning. It is 7.30 and it's the last day, it's a Sunday. So luckily we get back on a day off and I can relax a bit. This is my travel outfit. I actually wore this. Let me show you out here. I've all packed. I actually wore this on the way out here. This is my new Stella McCartney cardigan featured it in one of my hauls and I've just got my Kelvin Klein um, leggings, black t-shirt I'm going to wear these boots had to wear them travelling because they're too big we've had the best time in Croatia I can't wait to come back with Paris he's already been here but it's nice to come back together so if you have any recommendations please leave it in the description box I've heard that there's Christmas markets and you know I love Christmas so if you think that's one that I should I should try out, let me know. Uh, what else is there to say? I guess that's it really. I'm gonna go home, get all the videos ready. I'm hovering because there was one more thing I have to tell you. No, I've ordered us takeaway coffees and I'm giving Matea, who is uh, the girl that's with us from the Croatian PR, I'm gonna give her one of them Elizabeth Arden capsules because we were talking about it last night and I want her to try it. Hello, welcome back to London. Uh, what's going on? So it's Monday, got back yesterday afternoon. Today has been so busy and I got up and I thought, you know what, I'm going to carry on the Croatia vlog at home. Because usually I tend to do like trips away as one vlog, but I thought I would just take this into Monday and I was just going to tell you that I was just going to be working in my office, I was going to show you painting my nails, I did my um, new nails today, which it is not focusing. Um, but it's just been so busy. We did pop out to lunch and then we went to um, like a baby shop in Essex and there's two things that Essex do so well apart from beauty which isn't obvious. We do children's clothing and interior design and home shops. So it popped in and Paris and I were in there. I've got no makeup on by the way. Paris and I were in there for ages. We had so much fun and we actually thought oh my god when we have a kid. We are going to go wild, I think, with the shopping because I was buying so many baby clothes because we've just had a nephew that's been born and he was buying loads of toys and we came out. So what I'll do is I'll insert some Insta stories that I put up, that I took. Um, so yeah, we're rushing to London because I have a really early hospital appointment in the morning and tonight I'm going for dinner with Sarah. You've seen Sarah before. She was in my birthday vlog when I dropped off the pyjamas at Manolo. Um, so if I remember I'll, I'll vlog tonight oh actually no I think we're going to one of the Soho houses which there's no filming so could do that tonight I don't feel too well today so this is such a, a trick that I'm going to show you I have a, this shirt which I took to Croatia but this is another one they're just from Zara and I absolutely love them I've had these yoga pants on all day they're the Calvin Klein ones but I've got such a stomach ache and I feel so bloated I'm, I think I can kind of get away with it and I'm going to put the new Max Mara coat let me pop you here. I am going to wear my new Max Mara coat. 
because I'm really cold today. I got Paris's sister a little gift at Jo Malone because she's just had a baby and I thought there's nothing nicer. Where's my scissors gone? Nothing nice than the Jo Malone candle and a nice new perfume to make her feel like glamorous. So if you watch my luxury haul, you would have seen my new Max Mara coat. So cosy and I don't feel well, so I'm gonna wear that. It's freezing outside. And I want to show you two deliveries that I got today. I'm gonna to do, oh, there's my scissors. I've got no makeup and I'm gonna do it in the car because we're in a bit of a rush. These got delivered today from my Teresa. I've been looking for these in this size, in this colour, since they very first come out. And it's the Balenciaga Triple S all black sneaker. And I just thought I'm going to wear that all black. Perfect timing, running around London tomorrow. And this is such a cheeky, cheating outfit. I'm going to try them on, but I'm sure they're fine. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to, sorry that I've got no makeup on. I literally washed my hair last night and left it left it to dry so like I probably look atrocious I think I'm going to sell the pink ones I'm really not sure if somebody contacts me and say yep yeah, been looking for them I really want them then I'll sell them 25% off plus shipping free if you live in the UK I don't mind paying for the shipping um, I'll give you the Balenciaga box and everything because there is just no point me having two pairs of really expensive, oh, you know what? I've done a worn bloody white socks, haven't I? Paris, do you have any black socks that I can have? No, I, I really need some. So, if anybody wants these ones, they're size 39. I've, I haven't worn them much, exactly the same as these. I just think they're too extravagant to have two pairs. And I, I bought these ones trying to get these ones. So, if anybody wants these, I think there were 600 and something. I'll write in the, des des the description box, but you can see like how immaculate they are. Run true to size. Um, oh, actually, there's a little bit of um, ever so slight black marks here, but oh, oh wow. So yeah, let me know if anybody wants them. And I'm just gonna hope that no one notices that I've got yoga pants on. I just can't bring myself to put any jeans on or anything tight. I really can't. And if they say to me in Soho House or Little House, wherever we're going, like, I'm not allowed to wear these trainers and they figure out I've basically got a gym kit on, then I don't care. I'll just ask Sarah to go to bloody Wagamama or something or Weatherspoons because I am in no mood to be told that I can't go in somewhere because of my outfit. <sighs> my trick is that I'll just have my Max Mara coat on and my Birkin and hope for the best. <laughs> I don't care either way. I've um, got one more thing to show you that arrived today and I want more time to tell you more about this company. It's not a new company but it's fairly new, uh, fairly small but really really cool. It has like really cool brands, beauty, a bit of everything and they sent me the most amazing dress that I've been looking for for ages. But I'm going to do a little, a little bit more of a haul so it's more dedicated. Let me quickly go and grab it for you so you can see. Um, so it's called Oxygen Boutique. It's based in London, and last season there was a Love Shack fancy skirt and top that pretty much looked like this, and I I couldn't find it anywhere, and I managed to find the dress on their website, and I wanted it for Croatia. I don't have time to show you this on, but as I say, I'm going to do a haul with a few like autumn transitional pieces. They've got a really nice uh, Love Shack fancy jumper that I really wanted to layer with that, so I just wanted to show you it first. Tomorrow. And they also stock beauty, which I think is really nice when they've got like a bit of everything. And she kindly gave me these as a gift, so I actually don't know what they are. I really should not be doing an unboxing thing. And I'm this late. Hmm, Digital Detox Silver Rich Face Mist. Oh, that sounds lovely. Never heard of this brand. Oh, I'm going to pack that. I'm going to pack that because that sounds really nice. I'm quite into brands where I can get um, websites where I can get myself a dress and then pop on a few little like beauty bits. And I liked it that all of her beauty brands, I knew some of them, but I didn't know all of them, so it was something nice. Oh, blow dry cream, I love. Oh, that sounds lovely. Oh, what a shame, I washed my hair last night. And what's this? Misfits make every sweat count. 
I have no idea what that is. Protein powder. Or I'll have to read that properly because I might have nuts in. So yeah, I'll try this dress on in a haul, I think. But for now, let's cut this up. No, let's not cut this up. I'm not going to walk in with a huge Louise Aroma tag, am I? No, I can, I can hear it. I'm super late. Why do I always do this to myself? Uh huh. I love these coats. They're worth every penny. Because they're just so warm. My house was spotless before I went away. With all this travelling. Someone said I like Mothman, and I don't know what in my last haul, and I don't know what Mothman is. I'm pretty sure it wasn't a compliment, but I don't mind. I really don't. So that's my outfit tonight. Oh my god. Love the all black though. So if anyone wants the pink and white, let me know. I'm going to set it 25% off with free shipping in the UK. Because each time I want to wear them, I'm going to go for these, and then I've got the acne ones that are also white and black. So, yeah, I'm not going to go out of my way to sell them, but if anyone is interested in the pink and white, size 39, let me know. Okay, I'm going to do a quick whip around to make sure I've got everything, and I'll see you in London. Lipstick looks really odd. So we are by, are we by Buckingham Palace? Yeah. I can't show you because it's dark. So I'm all cosy in my coat. What's, we, what's happened? We've got anything to say? No. I was just talking about Patricia. Who's Patricia? Uh, the goat you bought. Is it a goat or a sheep? No sheep. It's a sheep. You would it's have seen Pat. it in, in its stories. He called it Pat Patricia. So I'm 10 minutes late meeting Sarah, but that's not our fault. Um, some of my makeup, like, I haven't got anything on my skin. I'm so happy with my skin these days. I think it's just trying to not sweat the small stuff. Been um, not as stressed, but I've been like that for about six months. Have you noticed? It's so funny, no GPS knows I'm that you can you. turn right in Piccadilly. I'm at the asking mall. you, no? I think the Queen probably asked for that. Do I'm, I, sorry? I'm asking you if you've noticed that I've really made a conscious effort not to be stressed about stuff. Uh, yeah, you're not stressed. No, yes, you are very stressed. What are you talking about? No, being on the period doesn't count. Oh, yeah, but it makes you stressed. Oh, you are so stressed. My, so, my the next level on, above stressed is. Stress queen. No, but have I... Does that sound better? Stress queen angel. <laughs> yeah, my efforts have gone unnoticed then. Of? Trying to be not stressed. Anyway, the proof is in my skin. My skin's great, so... Um, yeah, that's just the update. I guess I was just sitting here being bored. Yeah, I'm really pleased with my skin. Literally nothing. All I have is my bourgeois blusher. All that reminds me I need to get some more Givenchy blushes tomorrow. Look where we are. We're outside the Ritz. We're going all down the back streets. Um, we, well, Paris, edited the wedding vlog today, so that should be up probably just after this one, actually. Maybe the next video. Oh. Oh, we like such a tourist. Good evening, Mom. Hello. Oh, making a film. Yeah. Making the movies. Yeah, that's something wrong. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I got pulled off and I was like, got all shy and you didn't, you didn't help me. Do you want to film or should I go there? No, I filmed. I just was filming like, here's the Ritz. And that was it. Oh my God. See how much I panic when I don't know someone. I'm so shy. That's how shy I am. I've got an update for you. I'm a little ridiculous. So um, I've come, I'm going to the hospital and I didn't have anything comfy to wear because I, um, I got my yoga pants from last night completely dirty with the dogs and I don't know my jeans. I've quickly nipped in, bought these and put them on but they're these bloody wide leg. I thought they were the one with the elastic so I feel like an absolute wally but thank god I've got my big coat. And I just want to be comfy, so I'm probably never going to wear these again, but I want to be comfy. Got a coffee. 
no makeup. I've got no moisturiser or skincare at my, at my flat. I don't know what's happened. I must have taken it home. And all my eyes are like itchy and eczema -y. But I don't have time to get anything. I look like a bloody hobo. Not in a good way. Okay, let's get a taxi and go to the hospital. I've just realised that my camera has been in 4K this whole time. And that's why it's been so zoomed. Oh, he's trying to pretend he hasn't seen me. <laughs> Got your handbag? Yeah, it's my camera bag. Why have you bought the camera? I'm a photographer. You know I realise why... Like escape pictures. You know why I realise that the camera's zoomed? It's been in 4K. Oh, yeah! Why have well, you that's got... why it's been amazing, the quality. Why have you got your camera? Go you yourself a Starbucks? You didn't want to ask me if I wanted one. I iron my clothes. Yeah, I know. And I've you discovered told me. freshly ironed clothes. Is the he texts me this, and I, and I was like, "Well, that's completely a dig at me." You put it, and then it's like all warm. Yeah, but listen, I can't be like, ironing every day and working. Make your decision. What do you want from me? Some people can. You're an asshole. <laughs> Let's cuddle on King's Road. Sometimes we do this. This is like grass, dude. You just think I'm a treat. So I just thought I'd keep you updated on what we're doing. We went for lunch, which I completely forgot to film. We go to Dozo in South Kensington, and I'm just shooting a couple of pictures before we pop indoors. Um, this is an outfit that you would have seen on my haul, but of course I like to, to shoot it. And it's quite sunny today, but really, really chilly. I've got my new Manolos on. These are so comfy. I could wear these all day long. It's a nice autumn cozy outfit and then I'm going to shoot one more look as well, maybe two. It's so hot, it was really cold this morning and then I was going to put this dress on with trainers and a coat but it is so hot that I'm going to keep this dress on and I thought this was like, like a nice evening look with a black coat but I'm going to keep this dress on, put my trainers on, maybe a cardigan. And all of these will probably be on my Instagram by now if you want some outfit inspo. So yeah, just shot two looks. I think I'll do one more. These shoes are so comfortable, by the way. These are the Manolo Blahniks that you've seen in my shoe unboxing last week. One more look and then we're going to pop to Harrods. I just come into um, Ghost because it's near my flat and I really want this dress. However, I've just bought... Let me show you. I just bought this dress because I have it in red and I tried to get hold of this dress last summer and I couldn't get my size. It's a bit silly buying a summer dress but it's just a classic and I know I'll, but I'll wear it next summer. I don't mind if it's like not in fashion but it's just such a beautiful dress and I love baby blue and they now have it in the leopard print and I just said to Paris I've never had anything leopard print before but I really, really like this one. But I can't really spend £400 on two dresses where well, I don't even... Or can I? So, I'm in Harrods. That was a bit loud. Um, I saw this online and really liked it. So I thought that I'd come and try it on and see how it is and I'm glad I did because it's very thin and flimsy and I think it'd be so much better without this it's a bit Christmassy and I know I'll get bored and I'm pretty sure this will go in the sale so I'm kind of not feeling that um, I'm in Belmont by the way did I say that however I have fallen head over heels for this this is way nice, oh, really classic. I love it when it's a bit Chanel-esque because from afar this could be Chanel minus the pads. Dress looks good, doesn't it? I really, really like it. It looks so good with knitwear. It looks really good with a coat. I've got it with my Balenciaga shoes and then you store it with my Manolos. So yeah, I really love the dress and Oxygen Boutique is the only place I managed to find it. But look how good it looks with this. Definitely, I am... I'm loving this. It's a bit Christmassy. Oh, that was such a good, nice surprise. So now I'm in Miu Miu. I've wanted to try this on for so long. I would have ordered a 36 because it looks so huge. This is a 36, but it's actually really tight. 
I know that so many people would hate this, but honestly, I literally, I love it more in real life. And the 36 looks great on me. I think so anyway, because it's so huge, but I love this. I absolutely adore it, but I need a 38 and they don't have it. I reckon most people would hate this, but I don't care. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, I love this. I love it how like lightweight it is. This is my size, this is a 38, so I'm definitely a 38, by your true to size. Oh my god, I love it, it's like really boxy and manly. This is like my dream outfit, pink girly dress, and then a hideous man jacket. Oh, I really like it, now this is going to be on my mind. I like how unusual that one is, it looks like something my dad wore in the 80s. But what's really good about it is that they're so light. They've been done really well. I love it. the vlog. I've had about 3,000 outfits on, which I don't normally ever do. They're kind of outfits that I've been wearing all week. And then I don't have time to shoot them or something, so I just do it that day. So they are all real outfits. So we are now outside her sister's house. Um, to see the new baby. I got her a Jo Malone perfume. we just got a gift bag that we're gonna put it in, right in the card in the car. We bought them Ben's cookies because they probably need lots of sugar. Um £3.50 for that. I know, I know. That's £3.50 if you get your paper bag on King's Road. Then we got um, a present for the older the older child, so he's not left out. The child, the thing. Yeah, it's better that he called, keeps calling kids a thing. That um, thing she just got. Yes, we got lots of presents for everyone. And we're going to have a nice family evening. And I think I'll leave the vlog here. I'm going to vlog the rest of the week, so I've got some fun things going on the rest of the week. But I'm going to leave this vlog here. And um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. And we're getting the older brother some <gasps> presents. What? <gasps> you couldn't tell the difference, could you? No, it's the same. What are you doing? So yeah, as I was saying, we're gonna get the older brother this so that it doesn't feel left yeah, out. <laughs> I love this. Can we get it? Yeah. Yes, we can. <laughs>